Hey there, thanks for visiting this video. Over the next few minutes, I will be explaining to you how the system works. And with this diagram, I will be focusing on different parts of the system so you understand how all the pieces are connected and working together. I hope you enjoy it and uh, get something out of it. Here are the solar panels. Right now I have four 100 watt Free Energy 12 volt panels. Taking them all the way back around behind the air conditioning units. So they're well protected from the elements. This section right here will have two more panels. So in this section or in this area we'll have a total of six panels eventually. Potentially giving me up to 600 watts of power. Let's open up the box and show you what's inside. This container holds all the equipment and electronics as well as the batteries that, have, that make the system together. This MPPT controller is connected to the batteries and to the solar panels, but in between these connections we have some uh, breaker switches, which are right here. Uh, this switch connects the solar panels to the controller, and this switch or jumper or breaker con uh, connects the MPPT to the batteries. Next up, we have the container here, which runs my Raspberry Pi and one of the Arduinos. The Raspberry Pi is inside, and it's currently connected to one Arduino, Duo Melanove, and a dual relay switchboard, which controls the fans. The first fan is a DC fan right here, which pulls air out of the container, this small container. And then the second one is an AC fan, which pulls air from the outside of the main container and into the Raspberry Pi section. It's a little hard to see, but uh, let me explain how I am powering the Raspberry Pi. From the 12 volt batteries, the Raspberry Pi is connected to them via a UVEC power converter, which changes 12 volt to 5 volt. I hope you can see it, it's got a red light in it. And then I have a small USB uh, monitor here which tells me what the current voltage and amperage the system is using. Uh, this has been, in my opinion, the most stable method of maintaining power to the Raspberry Pi. And it's worked out pretty well. This first Arduino is in charge of controlling this solid state relay and this solid state relay's job is to basically uh, control flow of power to the 800 watt inverter. So from my Raspberry Pi I can control when to turn on and off the inverter. The batteries are connected in parallel via these connection blocks. And there are two 100 amp hour batteries. This second Arduino right here reads and monitors the data coming from this 
current sensor which is uh, hugging the main positive power of the battery and this data goes in to my Raspberry Pi via serial connection as you can see the serial cable here Oops. and it goes into the Raspberry Pi right here and this is the ugly side of the system all the cables and everything so it goes into the Raspberry Pi the Raspberry Pi reads the serial data and displays it into my web interface as well as stores it into the database the Raspberry Pi runs Apache and MySQL to store and display the data that it's been getting from the MPPT controller as well as the data from the current sensor and the status of the solid state relay for the inverter. I tried to make this as clean and as simple as possible so it would display well in most browsers, both desktop and mobile. The display or the screen refreshes approximately every five seconds and it displays the data that's coming from the MQTT broker's uh, data that receives from the Raspberry Pi. So it um, it doesn't always get the data from the database, it gets it from the Raspberry Pi's MQTT broker and that way I'm not having to enter data into the database for every single entry. I've separated the data into different sections. Uh, the pieces of the system are separated by panels, by batteries, and other data. So in the panel section right here, I show the voltage that's been generated by the photovoltaic panels, and also the amperage that are, are being generated by the sun, and then the total wattage. Uh, the time you'll see here will change uh, approximately, like I said, every five seconds or so. Uh, and that's again based on the data that is receiving from the MQTT broker. Battery data here shows the voltage, the current voltage of the batteries, as well as the percent charge um, that is uh, kept in the battery based on the voltage. These two sections, the load current and the load watts, are uh, still a work in progress. Um, the sensor, which I've already mentioned before, the amp sensor, uh, needs to have a very stable uh, voltage input in order to perform the calculation correctly. And right now, I don't have that. I need to uh, use a more accurate regulator to provide con uh, voltage to it. And right now, it's coming directly from the battery. So it's very uh, unreliable but I hope I can fix that in the future. The next section is the others and it just shows me some other details that I need to keep track of the system. One of them is the CPU temperature of the Raspberry Pi and also the temperature of the batteries. Uh, the temperature of the batteries is based on a sensor a temperature probe that is connected to the MPPT controller and the sensor is right there by the batteries it's a small probe that just sits right on top of the batteries and uh, the next section here is what really lets me control the system uh, not that many controls so that makes it simpler I can enable or disable the batter the fans completely so if I don't want the fans to run at all I just need to turn them off and then click update. Also, if I want to turn the inverter on or off, I just need to click this button and then click update. And what this does is essentially turns on and off power to the solid state relay. The same thing with the fan. The fans are controlled by those uh, smaller relays that you saw inside the, the Raspberry, Pi, Raspberry Pi controller box. And this switch basically just turns those relays on and off. And here I have the ability to either reboot or shut down the Raspberry Pi completely. 
and then below I have some uh, charts that I've created using Fusion Charts XT, XT to let me see the uh, power creation and historical data from the system. So right now this is a 12 hour display so obviously it's about 9.30 in the morning. It's been quiet for most of the night but at around uh, 7 in the morning it started generating power. This is the output in watts and the current. So current would be the green line and watts will be the blue line. If we switch to a 24 hour period, not the chart, then we can see the history behind it a little bit more. If we go back probably as far back as 7 days, then you'll see a more interesting display of data. You can also switch to voltages. So just show me the voltage of the um, panels as well as the battery. So obviously the panels will fluctuate as the day goes by, but the charge, the voltage of the battery remains fairly consistent. And temperatures as well. So uh, the Raspberry Pi, of course, because it's running constantly, will have a higher temperature than the batteries themselves, but still they maintain themselves at a pretty reasonable temperature. And that's what the system does. Um, it allows me to control as well as to see what the system is doing, and it updates itself every five seconds or so, getting me new data and showing me the most current information.